My administration shares your desire for job creation and a strong national defense, but a Death Star isn't on the horizon. Here are a few reasons. The construction of the Death Star has been estimated to cost 850 million trillion dollars. We're working hard to reduce the deficit, not expand it. This administration does not support blowing up planets. And why should we spend trillions of taxpayers' dollars on a Death Star when a fundamental flaw that can be exploited by a one-man starship? However, look carefully, and you'll notice that uh, there's already something floating in the sky. That's no moon. That's a space station. Yes, we already have a giant, football-sized international space station in orbit around the Earth, and it's helping us to learn how humans can live and thrive in space for long durations. The space station has six astronauts, American, Russian, Canadian, living in it, routinely welcoming visiting spacecraft, and repairing onboard garbage smashers, etc. We've also got two robot science labs, one wielding a laser, roving around Mars, looking at whether life ever existed on the red planet. Keep in mind, space is no longer just government only. Private American companies, through NASA's Commercial Crew and Cargo Pro Program Office, or C-3PO, are ferrying cargo and soon crew to space for NASA and are pursuing human missions to the moon this decade. Even though the United States doesn't have anything that can do the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs, we have got two spacecraft leaving the solar system and we're building a probe that will fly to the exterior layers of the sun. We are discovering hundreds of new planets in other star systems and are building a much more powerful successor to the Hubble Space Telescope that will see back into the early days of the universe. We don't have a Death Star, but we do have floating robot assistants on the space station. A president who knows his way around a lightsaber and an advanced marshmallow cannon and the advanced defense project agency which is supporting research on building Luke's arm, floating droids and quadruped workers. We are living in the future. Enjoy it, or better yet, help build it by maturing a career in science, technology, engineering, or a math-related field. I have held the first ever White House Science Fairs and Astronomy Night on the South Lawn because we, we know the domains are critical to our country's future and the ensuring that the United States continues leading the world in doing big things. If you do pursue a career in science, technology, engineering, or a math-related field, the force will be with us. Remember, the Death Star's power to destroy a planet, or even a whole star system, is insignificant to the power of the Force. And may the Force be with you. And with the United States of America. How do you think I did? I think I did pretty good.